So we are kind of going behind Oppie's back here. And we're trying to reach Tobias's marker. Now, there's not a lot that we're going to do in this initial zone. We are going to grab both of these. But uh, we're just going to follow this all the way around. Grab these and, and exit. Unless there's a repair station. It does not appear that there is. So, yeah. Unless something goes crazy, just based on our car health we're gonna we're gonna just truck on through here and hopefully all things go smooth now if you'll recall we were looking we need to find like a bunch of thermosat crystals for like some of our uh, personal backpack upgrades I believe it is or, or some type of personal upgrades but these these uh, tourists that explode they don't drop them consistently so the work that's involved to get, you know, one thermosap crystal isn't worth it, dealing with those. But in the new zone, we were starting to find some. So that's promising. We just have to spend more time in that new zone. Whoa, ex frick. Thanks for that. That was great. There's also something called like a wriggling wreck anomaly that we haven't seen yet that's required for one of our unlocks at the research thing. So any type of anomalies that look different, like we got to try and catch that. Whoa. We'll leave the towers for now. If my car was in better health, I would be fine to get out and explore a tad, but not right now. Took a little bit of a beating in the last area. I should probably charge the battery too before we cross into the next zone. And I'll maybe chuck some repair putty on whatever I can. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So this is down below. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. I just can't take any huge tumbles here. Okay, so there's the first. Yikes. That is really bad. Okay, we see them both here. Let's get some repairs in. It's gonna take a second, but let's get it done because the last thing we want is our car to frickin' explode. All I can, oh, this, I'm actually very low on this too. Headlights got shock. Our car is really this amalgamation of random parts right now. We do have uh, the ability to create our own lead doors. Uh, but we need platelets. And so we've seen a couple of spots for those. Specifically where we... Jeez. Where we see the... Uh-oh. My car going to get zapped here. Hopefully it's only going to zap in that section. Let me move the car because this stuff's coming as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The left, right. Okay. 
Okay. I'll go in there. I'll brave this. I have no healing items on me. 5k as well, radiation. Things are starting to get way more dangerous. Now, my uh, I did install something over here that, like, this new thing was called, like, the Arc Dock or something, and apparently can heal me a bit. However, it would use more battery, but I don't see a way to trigger that. It might be possible that it's automatic. Just seeing if there's anything new in here that I could, like activate. Hold on, let me actually check from the other side of the car. Just to see. Arc device. Ours was called the Arc Dock that we installed. Hmm. Maybe I have to be low enough or something, health-wise. Okay. Let's get out of here. And cross our fingers that we find a repair station. Cross your fingers, please. I need it. I need it bad. Okay. So, I don't want to go through here. I can skip that and go straight to D2. Uh, looking at the bottom right, there are some anomalies there that we don't know. Turncoat, that's not great. The car's going to do weird things. Eerie Darkness, Swift Storm as well. Uh, but then once we pass through there, we're on our way to the ARDA site. So, wish me luck. Whoa. Okay, so first of all, do we have any healing stations here? Nope. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, so we're just going to follow this road. We're going to grab this beacon. We're not going to mess with this one. We're going to grab this, follow this out like so. There's a lot of water, it looks like. And let's keep our eyes peeled for any type of weird anomalies and stuff. This is not a stable zone either, so at any point, things can kind of kick off. I'll check the house here. What's my battery at? Eh, could be better. you. The car is doing its thing. That is not a quirk. That's just the the ghost stuff taking over. Ooh, that's something. Uh-oh. A shaggy scrambler? Okay, just let me get let me get control of my vehicle here. Where did what Okay. Monitoring car's vitals. The bar at the top left shows your vitals. This we're fully aware of. That's fine. Shaggy Scrambler. We nearly got him, Sally. We were within an inch of catching the notorious that Scott guy. We almost did it. I swear to you, we're going to triumph where the regulars just can't. After 11 months hiding out in the zone, stealing cars, breaking into shelters, taking food. You know how we're going to do it? Anomalies. We used roadblocks to funnel him deeper to where we knew those beastly malf- Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hit me so hard the radio turned on.
That was great. Thanks. Thanks for that. Shaggy Scrambler. Okay. We used roadblocks to funnel them deeper to where we knew these beastly malfunction things were. And you know what they did? A whole pack of them descended on our car. Right in front of us. His engine dies. His battery burns out. His steering locks. He ends up stuck right in the middle of the road. Nothing but his regrets. Somehow he still gets away, just melting into the darkness. I guess it didn't help that all our cars had started malfunctioning too. But that's not what matters. Mark my words, we'll catch him next time. Okay, we have even less time than I was hoping. So the only things we're stopping for now is that beacon. And, uh, that's the thing that turns people to goo. Ooh, that car might have some interesting stuff on it. One second. It does have armored doors, armored panels. And I need armored panels. Oh my god. You wouldn't hit your master. You wouldn't hit your master. What the heck was that? I can put this on the back. But uh, that's not great. and bonk myself like that for a while. God, let's go. Now my floodlights, how do I turn those on? Oh my God, that's, those are all abilities. Oh no. Okay, so hold on a second. So things like our limb pulse emitter, Assign all. I have to actually have that in there. Side floodlights. That and there's the arc dock. Okay, well that's been a while since I haven't had that available. That's cool though. So that's actually good for us to like. There's the limb pulse emitter. Look at the battery usage, man. Okay, I can't believe we just figured that out. Wow. Um, nah, let's not waste that. Okay, go. Okay, so I was wondering about the, the limb pulse emitter stuff. And I thought that it was just an auto thing that was happening. To be fair, we only ran into like one abductor since and we tried to test it, but it was getting messed with by those um, like sticky beasts. What the hell? And. I don't want to do this, but I feel like I should. Rotten eggs. I'm at my wits end here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I, got I can't do it right now. Rotten eggs is a thing that we need to read. Ooh, corrupted. Hello. Okay, rotten eggs and corrupted energy. We'll read in a sec. If we survive. Yikes, dude. Okay, let me zoom out a tad. 
Just follow the road. Go to the exit. Getting a little low on fuel. We'll see if we can make it out of here with what we have. Just under a quarter tank. Wow. Looks like my headlights are slightly messed up. That must have been the same thing that we scanned. just clipping the edges there, but it's enough. This is, we're in a really bad spot. I'm going to run into here and see if there's any type of items we can use to repair. My car doesn't kill itself. Which is incredibly possible. We'll take that. What is that frickin' noise? Got it. Well, at least I know the car can't go anywhere. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of extra gas. Turns out we did not have enough. That was the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, we can't... Oh, God. Oh, no, dudes. This is so bad. This is so bad. I thought, it might, I thought it was the electrician's kit to fix the lights, but it's not. I don't have time to check. So now we're in eerie darkness, no lights. Sweet. So sweet. 
We got rippers crisscrossing the road. This is the most damaged our car has been, I think. That water really messes with these tires. We were considering upgrading to the next level of tire. These are those little amphibian eggs. Because those next level of tires do better in uh, water. A little bit of balance around everything else, but... Okay. Yikers. That was not cool at all. We are going to be stable, though. That's nice. But mentally, not. Mentally unstable currently. Okay. Oh, look! We have repairs. Are yeah, you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Yeah, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the visions? Sure am. We're gonna use this. My optical vasilizer. We shouldn't use that. Why not? I mean, it's, it's been decades, and no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing her up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's going to be a surprise for your birthday. <laughs> okay, first oh, thing we I've need to do... I've gone ahead and made an itty-bitty modification to your headset, Triver. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like, uh, oh, like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> Uh, what, okay. what are you using the Vasilizer for? Ah, uh, 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 no spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Driver, get ready to feast your eyes on... The Visions. <laughs> the Visions. Okay, Shorted needs an electrician's kit. Isn't that... What I built, though? The painter. So we told you about the mass hallucination. Hundreds of people, 30 seconds of crazy, yada yada. Hmm. But there was one instance where that event and the remnants intersected. The story of Laura Cesari. Laura worked at Arda as an executive secretary. She put in her hours, but she spent her evenings with a real passion. Painting. When the hallucination event swept through, Laura was overtaken like okay, everyone this else. one is different, that's why. But for her, the visions didn't stop. She tried painting them, but grew frustrated at her inability to recreate what she saw. Now at first, Arda wrote her off as one of the many whose brains got scrambled by what they saw. Until, Laura stumbled across a rusty can of paint in the woods. It was a remnant. Once she started using this paint, the visions in her paintings began to come true. She painted feverishly for over a year, chasing the visions the entire time. Until the day the paint ran empty. And then she disappeared. Like all remnant holders do. Now that we know the remnants and the mass hallucination are related, maybe Laura's visions can help us out. Okay, good to know. Well, we figured out what the problem was there. We need a light replacement kit, which we've seen in the research tree. Um, this is a little sketch, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna prioritize going to get the car repaired first. And I'm not stopping for anything unless I have to. I've marked the junction point for where we need to turn. Uh oh That thing is causing that. Okay. 
feel like my top speed is being impacted too. This is one of those airstrips, I believe. Or maybe it's different. I should actually check this. Uh, this is where your theory comes in, Francis. Uh, you tell him. Oh, tell yeah, airstrip. Look at me babbling away, Francis. Yeah, you, you explain it. it. It's so good. No, it's just. Uh, it all looks I like it's all not. like corrupted well, energy. We talked about this. You should be proud of your work. Toot your own horn. Yeah, I, 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 not this time. Okay. Well, uh, Francis' theory, his entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. Every phenomenon that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, some physical after effects. How did you explain it? Which is what he modified our thing with? a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> and what a better time than now to try it again. Wow. This isn't going to fully heal us, but... Whatever. No Numa tube here. But oh, that's oh, that's what it's modified with a pickpocket. At this stage, I don't know who is responsible, but I do need you to understand that any provocation of these creatures will be an actionable offense. Deliberately luring them with any kind of bait only makes them more accustomed and more persistent. At this point, we have lost literally millions of dollars in valuable parts and equipment. The colonel being carried away in his porta potty is simply another symptom of lax discipline and disregard for the potential dangers of the zone. I will not hesitate to report any future negligence directly to the major. Okay, let me find the other thing, the rotten egg. I'm at my wit's end here. The guys you're giving me are stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in the army, I swear to God, we're at our lowest point. No, you listen to me. They cannot be out here touching everything. They come across. New rule. Assume everything is acid. Everything. Oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Monte Cassino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in a goddamn camp on McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years and I'm not gonna die back in this stupid state because some pimpled private doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now you sort this out and you sort it out today or I take all this, I take this all the way to the top. And if you think men like me won't complain, I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us has a bronze star and one of us has a plywood desk. Sort out your battalion and don't you ever dare question my loyalty to this service or to this country. Ever again. Yeah, exactly. Spud light antenna. Clear that. Decals, that sketchy one we can clear. Paints. Green. Guided meditation. Nature. You're camouflaged. You're calm. You're one with the forest. You're a modern day druid. You're green. <laughs> nice. What was the other thing that popped up here? I can't recall. There were two things, but it's all good. Oh, I lost my door completely. Well, that's great. I'm gonna make one of these because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Yeah, so this kind of stuff, I need to be at like a tier two bench. But I will just apply a door because that makes me feel safe. Let me now actually... Do I have any... No, I don't. I don't have any rations. So we could try the, the heal. Space bar. You can see it draining. Oh, that drains our battery big time. But it's fine. Okay, now, let's go here. Should be very careful. We've scanned those before. 
Oh, those are different tourists. Those are different tourists. Do I have a flare gun? Yep. Maybe, oh, those aren't even tourists. What are they? Neon Reef. At first I thought it was seeing things after, well, you know, after the incident when so many of us saw things and then promptly told us to never just talk about it. I figured this was just another hallucination, something else I shouldn't log or report, like how we don't talk about the things that chase us or the flowers at Red Meadow or the weird weather or... I'm getting off topic. Point is, whatever this stuff is, it both responds to and seems to create light. I think we're looking at something similar to glowing algae, dissimilar or similar to those uh, dino flagellates. I've got some notes I'm here somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure this material can be infused with neon. No, that can't be right. Anyway, my point is that I think we could actually use some of this stuff, and I'd really like to talk to Dr. Turner about this, but her office isn't taking calls. What's happening to her lately? Is she still in charge? So we've seen this trend of her kind of like losing her wits a bit. Oh, this is the swamp coral. We need a lot of this for upgrades, like 200, I think. It's found throughout nature, they say. So why does this light reactive substance still feel so unnerving? these little lights hanging from the side of the bridge. Very weird. So we got 54 swamp coral from that. I'll get more. Turns out my vacuum is becoming very important. Are they opening as I get close? Or maybe they're closing as I get close. See that? Okay. Wow, that's a ton. So they come in, we can stack them in 80s. And it looks like they come back pretty quick too, but... If I could get us to 200 here, I'd be happy because I know that that's one of the thresholds for an upgrade. One sixty plus twenty three, one eighty three. Maybe they just bloom like in a timed pattern. I mean, that's pretty good. That puts me at two oh two. It's 200 or 300 that we needed, so hopefully that's good for us. Okay, scan the mural. 
Bigfoot mural. Ah, the Bigfoot mural! <laughs> My personal favorite! <laughs> Drawn in by the mushrooms. Nice. Hey, uh, is it just me or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades after all. You mean uh, Sasquatch or Big Bigfoot doesn't have a off. sick mustache? Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. No problem at all. Maybe I should go backwards and hit this one, and then I could kind of cross through and grab some of these. Uh, a driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. No, no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> You're speaking from personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. <laughs> You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone and one of the best demonstrations of renewable limb tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? The and world's biggest itself. biggie. And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone. It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. And then, the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But, they were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigate it. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them. No question. Uh, come on, all eight at once? <laughs> How is that possible? Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. Noted. Man, I would love to see something crazy like that. Just a giant Sasquatch walks out of the water. Even just like these rocky roads down here, it's we're taking so much damage. It's crazy. Okay, doorway mural. The inverting doorway. No, I don't. I don't like this one. <laughs> Turns creatures inside out. Yeah, I get that. Oh, did you, did you see that, Francis? Oh. oh boy, oh boy, Francis! Look, look, look! Look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. It's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Okay. <laughs> Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... See, Francis? I told you your basilizer would work. I... I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Well, I'm glad that you guys know what's going on, because... I am, uh, quite literally in the dark. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness. Nope. With nothing around. Definitely have not seen that. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want to talk about it. 
He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens, and everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's <laughs> not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning, and... and no, 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 we're done here driving. You see when you stay away from it, that's all you need to know. Let's go. Those things cause all of our electrical to get messy. So about that last vision. Go on. I'm telling you, the Helm's been never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. The Helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and made Don't hit anyone that. and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. Thank you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? Uh, it doesn't add up. Artist's favorite pastime was cutting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash and the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. I'll just drive away from these guys. They don't seem too much of a problem when we're in the car. I do feel like they could probably, uh, like, suck away some of our tools or something, which would be relatively annoying if you have to try to chase that down. Now, we do have some buildings here. There's a little tower there I wouldn't mind checking as well. As long as that stuff doesn't expand. Yikes. I need a fridge. I'm gonna go. No fridge. Not much at all, actually. Those pressurized cartridges are clutch, though. We do need some of those. Okay, that turned out to not be that great. tried <laughs> I just can't believe how much stuff is just absolutely thrown at us now okay so I could get an armored door I could get two armored doors and an armored panel I could replace the steel The thing is, like, yes, I'm replacing this with a better version, but it's almost dead. How are my doors looking? 
My door's fine there. This door. Okay, maybe I'll swap that one. Yeah, no, that... It, t it takes a little bit of damage to get it um, off of there. So... Oh, did I drop my scrapper somewhere? I must have. I must have. All right, let... Oh! No, I didn't. I'm crazy. It just wasn't on my slot number two. It's fine. No, I want this on two, and I want you on five. Oh, no. Okay. I think I'm good. Think the car is safe here? Seems to be. Hey, paint, thank you. I need a fridge, guys. Where's all the fridges? Didn't you guys have fridges anywhere? I need rations. That's not going to cut it. Let me go check this out. Probably a transmuter in here. There is. This is looking for... Is that the little, um... Eggs that we were sucking up? We can move these around a bit. I think that's a new type of thing we may not have seen before. But I also don't want to use those up if if those are in fact what I need for the uh, upgrades. Oh, you know what? I always forget. I always forget this, but I can just craft first aid. But it does use some of our nicest resources, too. Try to maybe stay near the bridge so we have a sort of a guide. Red. Holy smokes. Where's my car? How come I don't have the locator beacon signal for my car right now? Is 
store that there. Okay, so my front left tire actually does have a balancing issue. No! I think I might have said corrupted energy a couple times, referring to these, but... You guys are smart. A little concerned about that guy, if I'm being honest. I'll maybe park on the other side. My battery is getting low. My tire is flat. I think, do I have any of these? Okay, cool. Let's take care of this puppy. I need a light replacement kit for that, but don't have the ability. No impact on me, thankfully. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No Whoa. chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. Talking about this guy? Believe me, it's true. I've seen it. I'm trying to check the angles. Oh, oh, oh. Bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Then put the three locations together, and, and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of Get the Get to a zone. gateway. Okay, huh. we're out of here. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppie, you can stop pretending to ignore us now. <laughs> Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? Abby? Not my story to share. What? What's happening, guys? We got secrets. Someone's not being honest. My theory. And that basilizer, they're, uh... Illegitimate. Wait, what, what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So, I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Arna found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. 
Wait, wait. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints, thread them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You... You don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. Okay, I'm a little concerned about but two listen, things. I've got this suspicion, right? If Our we battery? Can just get the car to the mass hallucination source, or we find they can prove your theory. It's worth a try, isn't it? I'm tired of trying, Tobias. I've tried all my life, and it didn't go so well. Look, I don't have one of those fancy degrees that you and Oppie have. The closest I ever got to science was wiping down your lab benches. <laughs> but I saw the incredible things that you did with your research. Yeah, well. Arda didn't think they were incredible. I don't care about Arda. I believe in you. Always have. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do this with her. Oppie led the disciplinary committee that stripped my clearance and demoted me to a glorified intern. I have to conserve she my battery here. And decided how best to humiliate me. I never asked for anything. This one time I do, so I would I would never have to talk to Oppie again. You didn't listen. Your remnant was more important than what I wanted. Francis, I didn't mean. I've had enough. Uh oh. Sounds like somebody's been holding that in for a while. Uh, let's. Uh, he'll he'll uh, he'll come around. Sorry, driver. We'll run. Uh, we'll see you back at the auto shop. Let's hope so. I'm really cutting it to the wire here. I think there was the right call to knock over the other one. I don't know that we would have made it back. Fuel is low. Battery is low. I'm good. I'm good. That was a that was a lot. We took a lot in. A lot of lore. A lot of knowledge. A lot of sketchiness. A lot of energy. Okay, we did get some corrupted. Okay, so I'm not totally Interesting crazy. Interesting about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, in the lab accident. So we were told. Then, I found access logs from both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. After the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? Shocking. It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. <laughs> God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. You got it. You know what? I forgot that we picked up that blowtorch. And we could have gotten some additional repairs without using the putty. Could have used that instead. All good, though. No harm, no foul. Okay, inventory. Let's throw in the spud light. Paint-wise, let's throw this in. We'll get to more customization soonish. Oozing with great taste contains 100% real fruit juice and authentic anomaly extracts. FDA approved. We'll store this. And then lastly, as much of this as we can. Okay. Now, if I look here, large backpack. Oh, yes, I was correct. Swamp Coral 202. That is awesome. 76 slots, 8 quick slots. So that's our top level backpack there. 
Now, the things that we do need, we need a lot of lead. And we've only seen those in specific spots, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's just check to see where Red Meadow is. Um, okay, so that's like super far up. However, we do have a nice highway straight through to here. So we would ping this and then ping this. Yeah, that's cool. There's still something there that we don't know. Yeah, okay. That can work for us. Steel, steel, steel. Not sure we even need that anymore. Okay, let's take another look-see in here. So... Research limb chip for the deco vend. Carbon fiberglass unlocks other things. The blowtorch. Here's the light replacement kit. Let's get that going. First time we've actually needed it. We have the anchor radar. I could just grab it to unlock it. I don't know if we need to. Liberator Mark II, I think we're good. Plasma Scrapper could be nice. If we look here, so 23 piercing damage per second, 860 durability. This is 1600 durability and 38, so we'll, we'll scrap faster. And we do do that quite a bit. I think that's a worthy upgrade for sure. Okay. Rapid refill pump. Yeah, I mean, we could. It's really quick. But it's, it's really not that necessary. Experimental charging station. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Flare gun. I'll grab this now. There's some basics here that we can take just to round out our abilities. The floodlights. The doors. The bumpers we're not going to do because we have those other upgrades. Now, if I look at the difference here, this is radiation resist versus explosion and impact resist versus electrical resist blocks charge. Of all of these, the lead-plated stuff is going to keep me the safest. This resists specifically acid, which is kind of interesting. Olympium doors. More health, impact resist, and explosion resist. And powered bumpers. Olympian bumper and powered bumpers. Huh. Impact resist, explosion resist. Okay. So, I mean, to, to be fair, we aren't spending a lot, um, or we're not using those bumpers a lot because we're not seeing a ton of those um, abductors. I'm short on fabric. I need to unlock a roof rack for that. There's This is the side fuel tank. Um, Battery-wise, I think I really need to find this wriggling wreck. Because, like, we need a higher battery capacity soon. I need to find a wriggling wreck. Has to happen. Acid and heavy metals sometimes present within the zone's rainfall are being utilized. Interesting. Yeah, that needs to happen. It needs to happen. I'll do the uh, plasma charger. Jump jacks, resource radar, ion shield. These are all abilities, so things that we have to install. Oh, here! Hey, mobile workbench. That's what we want. I was looking for that before. Um, so let me try to work into this. Reprint. Why is this one locked now? Do I need all of these? Fabric and roof rack. Maybe I have to do the blueprint first.
Yep. Ion shield. Okay, so fabric and roof rack. Okay, but at least I know that there is a way to get there. So that's sweet. Those are good upgrades. The jump jacks are cool. Makes your car airborne for a brief moments. So we could jump, like, for example, those, uh, uh, like, electricity pylons that come up and set us in this ring of electricity. We could jump that. In theory. Plasma scrapper. Let's make one of those. Let's make another flashlight. Plasma charger. Anything that I need to have here. Light replacement. And then I can get the auto parker. The jump jacks, I don't have enough lead platelets, but we can do the auto parker. So where does this go? Auto Parker, where do I install you? Oh, here we go. Okay. These go in the seat racks. Oh, okay, so there's specific things that go there. That's nice. See, it automatically puts us in drive. I get out, automatically locks us down. So nice. Very, very cool. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this one. We'll just keep the full one that we have there. And then... Let's use that that blowtorch. I need a better door, too, so hold on. The best door I can make is going to be lead-plated. I have enough platelets to do it. Okay, sweet. I've got the light replacement kit. And then let's start blowtorching. Oh, it's, yeah, it's so much faster. Now we're living the dream. This takes a lot. That's probably more than enough. Focus on our doors. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, a, a better panel would be good, too. Damn. How much is it to make that? Blowtorch. Yeah, I need fabric is the problem. Let's see if uh, I get lucky. It's possible. Nope. Is this still our basic scrapper? It is. Let's go recycle that. While I think of it, let's build a battery jumper. Okay. Store that in here. We've got three of them. Obviously a little overkill, but...
Let's put this on two, like we're used to. Plasma charge. Oh, yeah, we have the plasma charger for the battery, too. So check this out. It's faster. Definitely. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get any fabric out of this, though. Still no explanation of what's happening in there. What is that? Why do we have a speed thing back here? One thing we haven't really done is like... We haven't really checked around this area very much. It doesn't appear like there's much happening though, so... Looks like there's another speed ball over there. But who knows? All right. So we do need to get some more resources for sure. Let's check out. Let's go weird wagon on the front. <laughs> yes, that is very much Scooby-Doo in nature. And I'm going to own it. I think we'll go full weird wagon. Nice. You know what? I'm going to leave that just because I think ARDA looks cool. There we go. It's the weird wagon, babies. It's, yeah, it's, it's something. It's, it's really something. Am I limited by fabric for the tires as well? Yeah, I am. One? So many things just need one little fabric. Let's see if we get lucky. Nothing. Where's my basketball, guys? We don't know. Nothing new happening in here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get a bunch of upgrades when we get some more fabric, but the weird wagon is locked and loaded. My tires are... Oh, what's happening in the back? Do we have a crack? Oh, it's charged. That's fine. It's gonna... It's gonna fix itself. Um... I can't unlock the better repair thing. Flashlight we took. Liberator. What's on there? Got about half on the... On the, uh, hand vac. Let's get a new one. Make a liberator. Make a hand vac. Now we have them all. Okay. I think we're good. We've got our route planned. We're going to go to F1. Nice highway drive, and then we head up there. This video is very, very long today. Hope you guys don't mind. If you made it this far, weird wagon in the chat. That would be sick. And let's take the, the jump. Oh, actually, one thing I should check... 
Let's just get a number of thermal sap crystals we need for engine speed. 42. Okay, I have three. And we've used them for other things. Doesn't seem like it's it's super necessary. That would be a nice to have. But we're going to jump. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to try to visit Dr. K's lab and figure out what's going on there. Wish me luck. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.